Welcome back Autobots, Decepticons, and everything in between to another episode of Fixing Transformers. And in today's we're going to take a look at how Mudflap did not get killed by Devastator in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So as we remember during the Devastator fight, Mudflap got sucked into Devastator's Vortex Grinder. But when he lost his grip and we all thought he was dead, in a twisted turn of events, he blasted his way out of Devastator's head. So, how is this possible? Well, believe it or not, the reason why he survived was all thanks to Devastator. You see, right after Mudflap loses his grip, Devastator immediately cuts off his Vortex Grinder, proven by the fact that none of the blades are spinning in his mouth. You can even hear the cutoff sound that it makes in the film. Now, you may be thinking, why would Devastator decide not to kill Mudflap when he easily had the chance? Well, what if I told you that Devastator's Vortex Grinder is not intended to kill Autobots, but instead is just to devastate structures? To prove this, let's take a look at the size of Devastator's mouth. Most normal size Autobots would be way too big for the Grinder to handle. The reason why most people think that Devastator's mouth was designed for eating Autobots is due to how small Mudflap is compared to it. But you gotta take into account that the majority of Autobots are not 10 feet tall. If we take a look at this shot, Mudflap is indeed small compared to the grinder, but honestly not by much, probably taking up around one-fourth of its total size. And that's only width-wise. Now replace Mudflap with Optimus or Bumblebee, and they would be too big for the grinder. Now to further prove this point, the grinder seems to have a harder time breaking down Transformium compared to normal steel, which is the metal that all Transformers are made out of. I came to this conclusion by seeing how Mudflap's door reacted to the grinder, since it does not crush in on itself, unlike how a door in real life would behave. And that's because it's made out of Transformium. And in the film, there's a different sound for when Devastator eats regular metal compared to Transformium. So this can explain why Devi was able to eat the metal truck flawlessly, but struggled with the Transformium door. To build upon this, after shutting off his Vortex Grinder, he tried to spit out Mudflap. Now why would Devastator do this if he was capable of eating Mudflap? Well, the reason why is that he wasn't. Hence why he shut off his Vortex Grinder and tried to expel him from his mouth. He likely has a built-in mechanism to cut power to the grinder when a chuck of Transformium too big is about to hit it similar to how a saw stop works. So with all of these factors combined, I think it paints a good picture that Devi is not intended to eat Autobots. But now let me prove to you guys what he is intended for, and that would be to destroy structures. You see, Devastator was a key asset for Megatron, since he needed him to dig out the Star Harvester that was buried within the Great Pyramid of Giza, a task that Devastator excelled at by using his Vortex Grinder and Massive Arms. Devi is also equipped with missile pods and guns all over him, which would be essential for decimating Autobot bases. Lastly, he is equipped with grappling hooks, which can be either used to climb a structure or tear it down. Overall, the perfect devastating machine. Now, the last thing that I want to touch upon is how Mudflap was able to bust out a Devastator's head, even though Devi tried to spit him out. I think as soon as the Vortex Grinder stopped, Mudflap grabbed onto a part in Devastator's head. At the same time, Devi would attempt to spit him out. But since Mudflap was hanging on to something, he did not fly out. Using this to his advantage, Mudflap would then bust his way out through Devastator's eye. And just like that, that was how Mudflap survived. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have not already, check out the Fixing Transformers playlist for some more awesome theories. But before I go, I want to say thank you to all my Patreons and channel members for supporting the channel. Without you guys, trans theories would not be where it is today. So thank you. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like because it will help the channel a lot. With that said, hit that outro. 